I'm not even acknowledging the toxicity of the relationship anymore. That is that is a moot point. I don't we don't need to talk about that now. Now I'm just I'm all in. Whatever the relationship is, however you want to play it, I'm in. You just drag me straight into it. Deep into your the, in your love. The deep. The deepest of love. Lyrics? <laughs> For all six of them? Yeah. So yeah, this is a song that I've also just never looked up the lyrics to. I don't skip it. It's not a very long song. Oh, it's like it's four minutes. I've never noticed. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, not not one that I think straight off the bat I've ever highly rated. No. But like you said just before we started, very pretty to listen to. We don't hear the angels after this album, do we? No, I suppose I don't. I don't know. I haven't looked up a lot of lyrics. Because there, there are reoccurring themes throughout Sleep Token. You've got the biting. You've got the the reference to dashboards and cars and some kind of car accident. But yeah, the the angels are quite. The angels are in this song, the angels are in Levitate, and the angels are in The Night Does Not Belong to God. The phrasing is so funny. Like, sentence wise, no wonder I could never figure out what he was saying. Yeah, I, I genuinely never understood any of the words in this song. I, I think the words I got were always drag me <laughs> under again. Yeah, but that's because he already gave you that. Exactly. One. Right, he's gone back. Because I was like, there's not enough lyrics here for the whole. You see how how far? Okay. It, now there will be. Yeah. Well, there's still a whole minute to go. Yeah, there's another. There's another paragraph. There's another verse. It's just that he's now repeating the top two. Yeah. Which is very clever because it says together at the end. Oh, no, maybe not. That was just it. Yeah. Right. I, I, said, I, I didn't understand where you got another... I was, crazy. I was like, no, that is the paragraph. <laughs> just a ballad. Yeah. Dragoth me under. Yeah. Uh, like it's, I said... It's a ballad song. It, yeah, I... It's ballad... I think I do think, yes. however, quite law heavy. Okay. Feels very law heavy to me. Very okay. short amount of lyrics, but yeah, I they mean, cut is deep. This, is this shorter than God's? I'm so sure that it is <clears throat> in terms of lyrics. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I thought I thought you meant the other way around. I'm I really... was very surprised that this was a four minute song. Yeah. Because it's... it is it is so very not on my radar. I'd never looked up the lyrics. I cannot understand for the life of me what he's saying. So this is the first time I've ever seen the lyrics. But <clears throat> it was all right. For it's, it's not a it's not a bad song. I yeah. I think like I said, pretty to listen to. Yeah. And um, something nice to have in the background. I think it's it's a nice break. I wish that this was this would have been nice if I was putting the album together just prior to God's. I get this you. would have been the greatest, like, because now let me just di dive real quick, deep. Yes. Because to me, this is only, this shows no none of the distaste for the relationship. No, this this, this is, is only. I am so very into this relationship. Exactly. It, it's and whatever the, the the title makes it sound a little accusatory, but mm. I'm saying like drag me under again, deep into your love. Like it's like a. I suppose in that sense it does make sense after say that you will, right? Because that was the accepting yeah. of the relationship. But now, and now I, I, he's now like, I just, even, I just love it. I'm not even acknowledging the toxicity of the relationship anymore. That is, that is a moot point. I don't. We don't need to talk about that now. Now I'm just, I'm all in. Whatever the relationship is, however you want to play it, I'm in. You just drag me straight into it, deep into your, the, in your love. The deep. The deepest of love. Uh, yeah, and like, he, there's a lot of things about how 
they're just gonna the gods will abandon the heavens just to find us mm-hmm. to merely look at us while we lay together that's how much he believes that this is the best thing and so it comes into question here's my question yes here's my question for you uh therapist suzanne <laughs> is it is the problem here mm-hmm. That maybe, even though the relationship is so bad, it's not just that he feels like... Sorry, I just had another small epiphany. (laughs) Something just triggered. Uh, It's not just that he feels like this relationship is worth the trouble. Mm -hmm. It just actually and actively is worth the trouble. I think, and I, I swear to God, I quote this book like once a week. Yes. To quote the... Perks of Nevermore. <laughs> the perks of being a wallflower. You accept the love you think you deserve. And I think for him, this relationship is worth it because he believes that this is the kind of love that he deserves to have. Whether or not it's worth it, I don't I don't know, because we can't actually see the relationship. We're not actually mates. We don't, you know, go out to dinner with what? Them I know. I know. It's it's hard. I had to come to I with thought it we too. were friends. <laughs> Like, yeah. yeah, we don't go out to dinner no, I, and come home I, and just be like, that was I get weird. what you're saying, but, like, okay, let's just... To to him... Yes? Yes. To him, it is worth... To him, the love is worth the angels being lost for words. The, the no, relation- but I'm, I'm saying to you, the angels are lost for words because it is worth it. You're, you're saying, um, objectively... Yes. That it is... And that's why I had that small epiphany. Let me just clarify. Okay. I was like, I I just realised that this may not be about the relationship, but about sleep. Okay. (laughs) He's like, because then when I look at the album, you know, where where we are, we're one song away from the very end. And I think, and that that was, and I don't want to talk about the other song. We're going to do it later. Mm. Let me just talk about this. To this point... It could be that all of this was just merely, you know, finding the comparison between the two relationships, which it is, right. and realizing that this is the relationship that he wants. Oh, here's, Hi, Alfred. A, here's Alfred. Hello, Alfred. <laughs> this is the relationship that he would like. Oh, uh, and the other one's just not worth it. So you're saying that he's saying his relationship uh, was like sleep- blanked out because he's not a person. Oh no, <laughs> Alfred. Could you maybe go on the couch? Couch. Go on, go couch. On. Couch, Fred. Go on. Go on. Off you go. Couch, Fred. Go, couch, Fred. Oh, you got a lot of, a lot of drool there. There we go. Oh, I'm, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> <coughs> uh, um. Yeah. So, look, I'm saying, I don't have anything for, oh, yeah, no, I don't have anything. Yeah, you use that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fair. Um, I think that there's a chance that he is... Now, he's accepted from Say That You Will that the love that he was getting in the relationship is not correct. Right. It might be too toxic, which is good. <laughs> he accepts that mm-hmm. because it's not good, right, as, as far as we can tell. And then, then this is like, well, this is the relationship that I actually get what I want out of it. Mm-hmm. because and, and the tricky part here... And, you know, I assume that this is probably on purpose, but the tricky part is, like, relating sleep with physical sleep Mm -hmm. and sex, which is also laying down, because that's what... These two things are always intermingled. I I guess I've always kind of wondered, is he sleep? (laughs) Or are they just... Is it just kind of like a, a, a proximity kind of I thing? I don't think it's that at all. I think it's just in his sleep he dreams, right? Like, that right. that's them together. Right. And I know that it's hard to say because obviously there's not a lot of, like, specifics about sleep that go around. That's my phone, not on silent. Um, Unprofessional. Very. Um, it, there's not a lot of, like, specifics about sleep, you know, that would help you be like, well, he's the... He's the god that does this, yeah. right? He's the god of toilets, yeah. so of course that's what he loves. Yeah, exactly. There's nothing to really know that, but I think it, it it's very clear to me, at least from the, the songs we've had, the lyrics we've gone through, the emotions that have happened, that most of this is about dreaming. 
He yeah. meets him when he sleeps. Yeah. And, and that we do know. I know that, the, you know, Vessel has said in the past that that's where he met sleep, in, yeah. in a dream. So, to me, that holds a little bit of weight. And I guess that's my point. My point is that it, it's very hard to distinguish sometimes. Is, am I talking about, is he talking about sleep? Is he talking about the relationship? And that's where all of that has been stemming from for me, that, like, there's got to be some kind of parallel. I get you. I get you. Between the two. I... <laughs> Sorry, that was a really <laughs> long rant for, for not much payoff. I don't no, know. It, 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 does, it does make sense um, if you subscribe to the law of sleep. You can't not subscribe to the law of sleep. I don't subscribe to the law it's of sleep. It's not a thing. I still maintain that this... <laughs> that the three albums are about three different relationships, or at least two different relationships. I still don't... <laughs> We're whittling it down. <laughs> yeah. Tomb, I'm still kind of eh, about. <clears throat> but I think, for me, like you said in the beginning, this is him... Say that you say that you will was him coming to terms with the fact that he's either in this relationship or he's not, and he's decided now that he is so fully in whatever... Other <clears throat> factors be damned. He's just, he's so in. And drag me under, it is quite accusatory. It does it's feel like, like, yeah, it feels it's like, like the you're the worst, but let's, let's do it together. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's, it's the same as, not to jump forward, but Eden's vices running through my veins. Your vices running through my veins. You can drag me under. Yeah, but I think also that's another thing that leads me to believe, and again, you don't have to subscribe to something even though you know it's true. <laughs> I'm not talking about a single relationship, I'm just talking about sleep. Yeah. Sleep is a thing, right? That's that's what this is. Mm. And uh, I don't think, to relate it back to, again, some previous songs that we've had, mm. uh, Diamonds for Teeth is my example here that I'm going to use, but it, that you know, diamonds are the hardest material when something would bite you with diamond teeth, it is un irresistible, unbreakable, unstoppable. Mm -hmm. It's like a force of nature, and he's and sleep is that, and drag me under is could also be taken in the context of uh, that's just what happens when I go to sleep. I get you. I just you drag me under. I don't when, have a I don't I have go, a choice. When I, I can't go stop. to sleep or when I go to sleep. But that's the same thing. That's what right. I'm saying. Because I need to go to sleep in order to get to sleep. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, that, that, that's my point. It's, it, it could be either you drag me under, but this is, again, plays into that whole, the parallels that he's singing about. It. It's about, potentially, both of them at the same time. I got you. The Eden and sleep. The, the fact that we can <clears throat> listen to the exact same song <clears throat> yeah. and the exact same album uh, and have two completely different interpretations, brilliant. There's, Just kiss. Uh, yeah, I think I was just seeing on Reddit... I can't remember the username now, but I'll I'll try to we'll try to put it in the show notes. But uh, there was someone who said they're a truck driver. They listen to Sleep Token a lot, and they're like, "I've got a really hot take about the law. Does anybody want to hear it?" And they were trying to be so careful to not like just say something that might upset people. And everyone was like, "Yeah, of course we want to hear." But and, and you look through that and you realize that a bunch of people are saying their own feelings and thoughts and what it's about and and none of them are like what it is that I'm saying either. No. So, you know, it, this, everybody's got their own interpretation. I, sure. Yeah, I think it's it's very fascinating to me the thought that he can put something out like that. Like, I, the only album I can think to link it back to is Taylor Swift had an album it's Folklore, or maybe it's the one before Folklore, <clears throat> I can't remember, um, but the idea was that it was a, a story of three teenagers, but you didn't really understand that until you got halfway through the album, and then you'd have to go back and then listen to it again. Sure. But I think we all got the same interpretation of that story. Yeah. Whereas this is so much more ambiguous uh, that, yeah, on... Like, the subreddit alone is just theory central. And I really love that. I think that, for me, is one of the best parts of... That's what we're doing here. Yeah. That, that's why we're doing these videos. Because that's, to me, mm. what makes the songs more impactful. And um, not to plug my own other thing, but mm. I do a podcast with a friend called Slice of Cherry Guys. Mm. Uh, and we did an episode on Sleep Token. And I was saying that that is the, um, the genius behind it in that it's made ambiguous enough that we then imprint our own thoughts and feelings on it. Yeah. And then it has its own meaning that then lets everybody, you know, discover what they want from it. Yeah. 
Yeah, maybe that's why the <clears throat> fandom is so deep. Yeah, of course, because it's then all of a sudden about your problems. It's, it's a, a, <laughs> he wrote these for me. Yeah, and that, again, it's why it's like David Lynch. Oh, God, we got there. <laughs> But anyway, with that, let's not dive into that. But, but. but I, I would love to hear if you have a different take on Drag Me Under and from this conversation, you probably do. Yes. Uh, we'd love to hear about it in the comments. And <clears throat> we absolutely love when you guys send us comments, when you let us know what you're thinking, whether it's on the shorts or on the actual episodes. We love it. So please keep it coming. Yes. Uh, let's rankings. 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 Oh, God. Let's rank. Let's rank. Let's rank. Let's get ranked. Um, right. I... <laughs> it's probably pretty clear that it's not my jam in terms of music. Again, law-wise, it is important, though. Yeah, right? That's, yeah. To, at least to me. I've now, again, I feel like I have epiphanies every week, <laughs> but I had another one, and so therefore it's important so here's what I'm gonna do. All right. Could you? Yes. Get the movement tool. Oh, movement tool. Okay. All right. I need some movement. Can you grab give? Yep. Pop that one down to thirty-four. Wow. <laughs> okay. It's just <laughs> okay. Can you grab take aim? Yep. <clears throat> Move it up to seven. No, thirty-two. What the? F- okay. Is there no 33 on here? Oh, how funny. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I can fix it. I can fix it. Perfect. But now we've given everybody a sheet that doesn't have a 33. <laughs> For you playing at home. We'll fix that later. Uh, at some other point. All right. Um, and now... Uh, this. Drag me under. Yes. At 31. Okay. Just a little above the others, but it's also pushed the, the rest of them away. Um, actually, give me one moment. Because that... We'll fix it later. I have to fix it now, or else I won't remember <laughs> to. Can you bring the thing towards you? You've disappeared again. Oh, sorry, sorry. Pick the tablet up. Well, I can't, because then it's on the thing. That's okay. Um, just hold, please. Well, this is dead air. So, uh, my re- uh, my reasonings behind it, right, are that, um, again, yeah, musically not my favourite thing, and thirty um, one, yeah, thirty one. But it sits above the others because I feel like law wise, it makes more sense to me than some of the others. You're still disappearing. So, <laughs> um, so I I think. And it's hard, right? We don't have very much left of this album either. There's essentially one more song. So, and I know that this is not how this is going to stay either. So it's a tricky, it's a tricky ranking to be honest for this one. But I, I think now thinking about it and I guess law wise and lyrically, I liked it more than the, those other two. So, um, I just didn't want to have it so close to the others. And I think I'd like to grab levitate. Okay. Yep. Can you just shift it down to 22? Just a little. Just a little? This is just, I'm trying to paint a picture again. Sure. But. Sure. Yes, this is it. So, again, drag me under 31. Then take aim 32. We'll skip 33. Give <laughs> is 34. And levitate is 22 now. And the rest is good so far. Wonderful. Wonderful. And the top, the top section is... Untouched until we start moving through the the next albums. I would say at this point, yeah. I, I don't think I, I know. You know, with Bloodsport being the next song, I don't think that's going to shift much in the top. No, but I'm I'm very curious what happens to the offering and higher once we get to Tomb. Let's find out. Let's find out. You can tune in too. Anyway, your turn. My turn. Um. For me, law-wise, not really that important. Not really all that different to (coughs) what I've already been saying. Except now he's just completely 
uh, immersed himself in the experience of this toxic relationship. Uh, so, um, I'm going to put it down at 32. Okay. Um, Below give. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think only because at least with give, there's a little bit of... A little bit of the giving. That's it. It's it's giving <laughs> it's giving shoulders, it's giving hips, but <laughs> drag me under, I think, yeah, a nice song for, like, if I was cleaning. Sure. But not, uh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Nice. Yeah, well, thank you again if you've stay, stuck around for the rankings at the end. We'd love to hear some of yours. Again, it, above and below would be awesome. Yeah. Um, thank you for checking us out and uh, make sure you subscribe because mm-hmm. uh, we have a lot of people that view that aren't subscribed. I think it's only 14% of the people that watch are subscribed. Thank you to that 14%. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, one more song. That's it. Of this of sundowning. So we'll see you guys in Bloodsport. Bye. Bye.